Okay, so this video is just a really quick correction and improvement, I'm going to argue to my previous video around automating read AI. So if you haven't watched our video, go watch it. But basically what I did is I wrote a, a script that will automate the process of going in, finding a specific meeting and then extracting it into plain text because this is annoying. When Read AI sends you their email, it's just with a bunch of garbage around it. And it's just not very, it's not, it's not clean that I could take and just copy into another document. And that's kind of the problem that I'm trying to solve here. And then I guess the question would be, why would you want to do this? And the main reason, honestly, is because I use my to-do system, OneNote in this particular case, to keep track of all different types of stuff, right? So this is my general OneNote type of thing. I got some things with IDs and I got scratch pad where I just dump a bunch of random stuff inside of there. And the, uh, the goal is I just want to be able to just copy this entire summary and keep it into a place where I can track what's going on, right? So there's no real easy way to do that up until now. So here's the funny thing. Um, I did that video. I went to their website. I looked for integration and there's nothing. There's literally, I am, let's just approve I'm not going crazy here, right? There's nothing about integration. There's integrated and nothing but integration, which is crazy to me. And uh, I also went through their, their application and looked through all the stuff, couldn't find it. And suddenly, literally, probably about maybe about 10 minutes after I did that video and posted it up, uh, I discovered that they do have something called integrations under the enterprise level tab, which is really weird because they don't even have it in their pricing. So if you go to integrations here, it actually shows you, you do have the ability to automate your workflow now, I was right in my previous video that Zapier was coming, so they didn't have Zapier. Um, however, they do have webhooks, and that is honestly all that you need because you can, from webhook, push to Zapier. It's just that Zapier is kind of a brand. It's more of a popular thing. So most people will come to you, oh, they don't have Zapier, so therefore I'm just going to not do anything. However, what you can do is and and let me show you where that where it's located by the way so if you come into it's really hidden and, and and my plan is not the enterprise plan just to be clear what am i paying for here oh it doesn't actually tell you it doesn't actually tell you anyway it doesn't matter so um the so so but bottom line is is that they do have a webhook you can come in and add this webhook and you can put in the name and the URL here. I won't go into the details on how to actually do it in this video. This is more of a correction video. But if you use either Zapier or make.com or Microsoft Flow or Logic App or name your tool, if you know another tool, then you probably know what I'm talking about here. So the point is, is that you can you can extra get the data from that tool and push it to your own tool. So now the question becomes, why would you want to do this? And this is this is the best case that I have because it's my own personal use case here. So I'm in Microsoft Teams right now, uh, or or you know maybe Slack even right. But I got a channel. It's called Meetings, and it literally after every single meeting, it will trigger the webhook. That webhook will automatically, and I just started this here, so there's not much in here, but it will automatically send. I have the different meetings that I kind of do on a regular basis and it will send a summary of that meeting notes, not to my email, not to think just of the meeting notes directly. So here, for example, yesterday I tested it out with my developers. I got it. a meeting notes of the, of all my, of my daily standup. So that's fantastic because it allows me to just come in here quickly. If I'm on the go and on the mobile, I can just come in, click on this here and just kind of just list. I just find find the uh, um, meeting notes very quickly. I think this is an improvement. I'm also going to push this into my OneNote. So once I do that, I'm going to do the technical version of this. If you want more specific details on how to actually accomplish this, uh, I can do a video on that. Just message me in the in the comment section, and I'll, I'll I'll get it done. But this I find to be the most effective way. So essentially, what happens is the meeting runs as soon as the meeting is finished. 
it basically sends this meeting notes directly to me. And I can route this to anything. I can route it to all the participants. In fact, what I'm thinking about doing while I'm, while I'm kind of talking here is I'm thinking about just like automating, adding it back to the previous meeting. So, so in other words, if I had a meeting on Monday, right, for accounting review, as an example, right, um, it will automate re-adding the notes to, see here, take meeting notes. So it's going to add it to that specific instance. So Monday, uh, the 29th, it'll add the notes there. So therefore, I could come to my calendar and be like, oh, what the hell did we talk about last week? Yeah, when was that, right? I could do that and I could think, so I'll still put it in multiple places. I'm still experimenting here, but anyway, that's, that's basically the point of this video. So let me know if you guys want me to put some more details on how I was able to accomplish this. Um, is, web hooks are not necessarily, they're programming things, so they come naturally to me, but for most people that are not programmers, it might not be as straightforward and as easy. So I can do sort of a more entry level video on that, but let me know. Um, anyway, that, that's all I wanted to share in this video. I think that this is a game changer. I'm really happy with this. I really, really am. And um, I'll, I'll keep you posted on how it works. But so far as you can see it, it just, it does exactly what I want, which is really just to summarize the entire meeting into um, into a digestible format without all of the crazy, you know, analytics, right? Um, so anyway, that's all I wanted to share. Thank you for your time. Have yourself a wonderful day.